Anthrax. Oh my god. This character from Osmosis Jones sucks. At first glance, Thrax appears to be collected, sophisticated, charismatic and polite, but he's actually a cruel, heartless, sadistic and horrendous villain. Thrax is notable for being a very dark and threatening villain in an otherwise light-hearted comedy. As a serial killer, he lives for breaking the record of causing death in their shortest time possible, which he regards as a challenge. He wants the doctors to give him his own chapter in the medical books. He's sadistic, greatly delighting in causing death and suffering to people and cells alike, and he is also intensely proud of his killing spree, often bragging about his many victims, among other displays of macabre and dark humor. Thrax has a tendency to be sarcastic, making dry comments about the somewhat poor quality of Frank's criminal underworld, calling it scums. He always keeps a chain made of the DNA of all of his victims as a creepy and scary keepsake and often sings songs Peggy Lee's fever song when spreading his disease as a twisted sense of irony. He had a brief comedic moment when he discovered Frank's memories, remarking that he was sick even before he entered Frank's body. He's also shown to have an extremely temperamental and volatile temper despite his often charming and respectful ways and often flies into short yet fiery rages at the prospect of obstacles. He hates being compared to the Ebola virus, comparing it to dandruff. He prides himself in having never been spotted by his victim's organism before, until he entered Frank and Osmosis found out about him and opposition only makes him more reckless, psychopathic, and unhinged. This is shown when he decides to kill his remaining recruits just because they suggested incubating so they can recruit reinforcements. Despite his violent tendencies, Thrax is meticulous, intelligent and knowledgeable about human anatomy, knowing how to blend among common viruses, how to cover his tracks, and where to strike as efficiently as possible. Yet. His obsession with keeping his perfect record at all costs would lead to his downfall. And thank God Jones defeated him. I don't know who likes or hates this character. Or what else sucks or is better. And so I am going to leave it be. Anyways. End of rant.